The National Center on Sexual Exploitation was founded in 1962. And our long history has been one of success after success in fighting the exploitation of pornography. And what we have evolved to be is an organization that can show the seamless connection of all forms of sexual exploitation. At the National Center on Sexual Exploitation, we believe that all forms of sexual exploitation and abuse are interconnected and that to deal successfully with one form of sexual exploitation, we must recognize and understand the links between them all. I just had an attorney recently call me up who represents a seven-year-old girl who was raped repeatedly by a 13-year-old boy who is constantly involved in pornography. And it's actually worse than that. That 13-year-old boy had his younger brother and the four-year-old sister of the girl he was raping watch the rape as though this was a game. What should we expect when a 13-year-old with an immature brain has been exposed and conditioned to the extremes of internet pornography? Issues like sex trafficking, military sexual assault, pornography, prostitution, and more do not occur in a vacuum. We're targeting pornography, we're targeting child sex abuse, prostitution, and sex trafficking because the continuum of sexual exploitation flows through all of those. What we find is most effective is when we get people who support what we do to go on our website and right there we provide an action step for each one of our targets, each one of the cable companies, each one of the hotels that are still selling pornography on the televisions in the rooms, uh, your big tech companies who are in one way or another promoting uh, pornography and other exploitive matters. We give people an opportunity to be part of this coalition against sexual exploitation and to take action just by going to our website, a couple of clicks, and you've made a difference. That's what we want to do. We want to empower you to make a difference.